بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نارملی وی الخشب زید الفصل القمر بٹ آفٹر دا ایڈیشن آف ہر فجر دے بیکم مجرور الغسنی السو کی من الخشب لی زید فی الفصل سو دس از دا مین تھنگ دیٹ یو نیڈ ٹو ریمبر دیٹ ہر فجر اور حروف الجارا میکس دا اسم مجرور nothing else so the first student is faz adana read these sentences or read whatever is written here start from here what is this can you hear me faz adana she is not available i think mr jubreer Mr. Assalamu alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Read this. At-ta'iru ala al-ghusni. Fatimatu za'ibatun ila al-suq. Ila al-suq. Ila al-suq. Al-maktabu من لا من لا خشبي طالبة في فصلي الطالب الطالب في الفصل عائشة قال قمري على قصة على قصة عن الأميرة كتبت ال كتبت ال بالقلم كتبت بالقلم okay next student is Miss Rama read the explanatory note <coughs> Explanatory note. The above mentioned sentence contain the following preposition. An, ka, fi, li, min, min, ila, ala, an, bi. This particle Ms. Rama, I can't hear you. Proceed and, and take it in, in above mentioned sentences that denounce all poets with Castro. There, the explanation may be explained thou majururum with Castro. What is the main thing he is telling you? Now? What is he telling you in this point? He said to us that if any proposition is come before and uh, after now, it's make it majrur. So our figure makes the isam majrur. Remember this thing, okay? Yes. Next. Yes. In the sentence one, the now I'll Gusni in the in the adjective case because it is preceded by a preposition. The sign denotes the adjective case of this noun is casual because it is singular. All all in all there are 17 prepositions, but for the present 
the following with Sufis. So there are one preposition, but we will study only around eight prepositions in this lesson. Okay. Rest of the preposition okay. we will study and at the moment. Next student is Mr. Ahmad. Sir. Read, no. read the prepositions. Ayla. Zaydun Jalisun Ayla Lar. Al Kutubu Ayla Raf. Ila. Wasal to Aliyada Ila Mirfati. Zaydun Nazirun Ila Sama. Min Salimun Rajiun Minal Kariati Albur to Kalu Min Minal Favakia Kavaki As Sunduku Minal Hadid Kalidun Akbaru Min Salim Al Kittatun Asvaru Minal Kal Read the footnote. Uh, footnote is okay. Uh, Akbar is uh, Akbar is on the pattern of Afal Afalu. Uh, when two objects are compared to each other, uh, to disadvantage of uh, one, we use the smooth of the uh, the uh, elective, for example, Akbar run. Bigger, Aswarun, Samala, Ajmalu, more beautiful, Ab Adu, further. No, um, no, no, uh, no, no nation, no, no nation is used in the above mentioned example. Its form uh, will not be changed irrespective. Uh, of whether uh, the subject is uh, masculine or feminine, singular, dual, or plural. Next student is Miss Foz Adana. Can you hear us? I'm hearing you. Okay, read this. For belonging to Gen generally. This lamb alone uh, is used for denoting possession or any kind of association or connection. All praise is for Allah. I said to, Zai, to Said, the house belongs to Khalid. Read the Arabic also. Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> All to this the Zaydu, Alifarsa, the Khalid, Alifaras, the Khalid. Number five and fee. The boy is in the in the room. Alwaladu fi gulfa. The the pens are in the drawer. Al aklam fi dorj. Okay, the next Six. student is Mr. Jibril Slahuddin. Jibril, can you hear us? Sorry. Wa alaikum salam. Read the next point. Yes, sir. From six, huh? Yes, number six. Calf. Calf. For resemblance. This is known as calf of comparison. Calf. Tashbihi. The thankful eater is like the patient's. Imun 
Zaid is like a lion. Zaidun kala asad. And from about, I asked about the teacher. Sa'altu anal mu'allimati. The mosque is far from the house. Al masjidu ba'idun anal bayt. Ba, ba'un, in, what, in, with, at, on, etc. In the Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Akaltu bil mi'aqati bil mi'aqati min aqati nam bil mi'aq bil mil'aqati I ate for the spoon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I thought the box attacked the chicken. Okay. Continue. Zaidun bil masjid. Zaid is in the mosque. <coughs> Next is Al Majroor. Okay, you will see the Majroor form of Musanna. So the next student is Rahma. In the dua in the generative form, example, the books belong to the two main students. Al Kutubil Al Kutubil Litali Al Kutubu Zaid Al Kutubil Litali Zaidu and Salim are like two brothers. Zaidu was Salim Kal Akhawaini. <coughs> The two children men are sleeping on the two beds. At 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 tuflani na imani ala sari roini. The men are travel to the two villages. A rod, a rod, a rod, you 
musafiru musafiruna ilal ilal koryatain the children are in the two rooms al auladu fil fil gurfatain i i search for the two children bahastu anil to fly in anit to fly in anit to fly in so here you see these harufa jada made the musanna majroor what is the marfu form of talibain al yaw what is the marfu form of no wow marfu wow wa nun tell me what is the marfu form of two students talib alif wa nun taliban talibani okay taliban next akhawain marfu form akhawani anyone akhawani akhawani okay sarirani marfu form sarirani karyataini marfu form karyatani gurfatani 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 tiflani 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 okay so the next we have explanatory note here we will learn the explanation of whatever we have learned so far rizwana assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh you have learned that the noun following a preposition is uh, majroor in the genitive case in a singular noun the genitive is indicated by the kasra e while in the dual dual it is indicated by ya the alif of the dual changes to ya in the first example talibaini is majroor because it is preceded by the preposition la mr rizwana your microphone is muted oh sorry you have learned that the noun following a preposition is majroor in the genitive case in a singular noun the genitive is indicated by the kasra e while in the dual it is indicated by ya the alif of the dual changes to ya in the first example talibaini is majroor because it is preceded by the preposition lam the genitive is indicated by ya since the noun is dual it is declension is will be expressed as musanna majrurun bilya so here we learned that harf jar gives kasra to a simple word so kitabun after addition of harf jar become kitabin then you learned that in case of dual word kitabani is marfu but after the addition of fi it becomes kitabaini kitabaini now you will learn about the plurals and plural we have learned the types of plural so here we will learn the jama muzakkar salim like muslimuna muslimuna is marfu let's see what happens when we add harf jar to this so the next student is miss mishka khan assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh this sound masculine 
plural and its genitive indication. Jamal Muzakkar Asalim Walamatu Jarrah. Examples. Khalidun Mina Salihin. Khalid is among the righteous. Assalamu ala al mursaleen. Uh, peace be upon the prophets. Al buyutu lil muallamin. The houses belong to the teachers. What is the marfu form of salihin? Sir, in plural? Yes. Salihin is rule. Salihani. Wrong answer. What is Salihun? Salimun. Salihun. And what is the marfu form of mursaleen? Mursaloon. Mursaloon. And what is the marfu form of Mualimin? Mualimun. Okay. Mishka, complete the examples. Yes, sir. Abtaimun ashakiruna faswaimin ashabirin. The thankful eaters are like the patient fasters. La khayru la khayra fil mubdain. Mubdain. There is no good good in the innovation innovators. Zahabtu ilal muftiin. I went to the legal scholars. What is the marfu form of Saimin Mishka? Saimun. Sabirin. Sabirun. Muptaidin. Muptaidun. Muftiyin. Uh, Muftiyun. Muftiyun. Okay. So here we learned that after the addition of our figure, Jama Muzakkar Salim become Muslimina. Okay. Muslimina. So if we look at the example of Muslim, normally it is Muslim Mun after addition of fee or any alfajar, it becomes Muslimin. Then normally it is Musliman in Musanna form of tradition of Harfijar, it becomes Muslimaini. And Jama is Muslimuna after the addition of Harfijar, it becomes Muslimin. You can make a screenshot if you want. Now we have the explanation of whatever we have learned so far. So, next student is Ambalo Sam Muhammad Usman. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Explanatory note, the genitive in the sound masculine plural is indicated by yao, yaon. In sentence one, asalihin is in the genitive form because it is preceded by the preposition min. The indication of the genitive case of the sound masculine plural is yaon. The letter preceding yaon is vowel by kasra e and its declension will be expressed as jam mudakkar salim majroor majroor bilya if anybody has any question this can ask me Now we will learn the Arab of Jama Mona Salim. So next student is Mr. Ahmad. Tell me what is the marfu form 
Mr. Ahmed. Can you hear me? What is the marfu form of the word female student? Female. Um, Yani. What is the marfu form of one female student? Anyone? Okay. Um, to, any, uh, any student can answer. After the addition of her figure, let's suppose I have min. What does it become? Min talibati. Min talibaina. In. Min talibatin. What is the musanna of talibatun? Musanna. Anyone? Talibatan. Tasniya min. Tan, yes. Yes, okay. After the addition of her figure, mm. let's suppose I add her figure min here. What does it become? Tiny, Taliba. Tiny, Taliba. What is the Jamma of Talibat? Tun Jamma of Talibat. 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 So let's see what happens when we add her jar. Or any figure to it. Talibatin. Let's see here. Talibatin. Ahmad, read this. Uh, the second feminine plural uh, and its generative indication. Sound feminine plural. Uh, okay. The sound, the sound uh, feminine uh, uh, plural occurs in genitive form like any singular noun that is with a kasra. Examples, the whales are uh, for the girls. Al barakiu lil banati. Aisha is among the uh, righteous. Uh, Aisha mina solihati. I asked about the students. Saltu Anil Anit Polibati. So, what happened when we had Hadfajar to Jama Mona Salim? Tolibati. Tolibatin. Tolibatin, sorry. You all can make a screenshot if you want. If anybody has any question, then ask. After that, then we will continue our class next time uh, on next uh, saturday sir? today is saturday and our next class will be on sunday inshallah tomorrow sunday inshallah. okay so um, so when, when uh, the uh, holidays are starting i message in the i sent a message in okay. the group did you receive my message uh, I, I thought I received, but I didn't remember for that reason I asked. I'm okay. sorry. Anyone, does anyone remember the date? Nineteenth to the 19th. 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 From 19th until 25. I think these are seven holidays. 19, okay. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes, these are seven holidays from 19 to 25. Anybody, oh, any questions? No questions, so we'll stop here and next time, inshallah, we'll continue.
مع السلامة مع السلامة